Hey guys, multi -Tutor man here, and I'm back yet again with another how to computer tutorial. And uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to um, record your guitar with your computer, like on your computer, like with no mic at all. All you need is uh, one ca a cable, uh, like one simple cable in your guitar. So, let me just explain this cable to you guys. Don't close the video, like, don't go to another video, like, just hear me out. Okay, so. Uh, you want to record a song, right? Okay. You have your electric guitar. You got your, you got your amp. You got a mic. You want to plug into the computer, right? You do. You plug it into the computer. Okay. And it's, you plug your mic into the computer, and then you put it to the speaker. You know, if you have like a professional quality studio grade kind of thing, man, you're gonna get a great sound. But like the thing is, if you're on a budget, like most people, like me, especially. You want to get the simple stuff, you know. You don't want you don't want to get like a freaking Mar Marshall amp, like those big, giant studio, like the, 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 the I mean the 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 big performance ones, like the super good quality ones. You know, we're we're on a budget here. We can't afford something like that. So, um, all you um, and also for the pet, you want the pedals, right? Some of you want pedals for distortion, for fuzz, for delay. I don't know. Maybe you're playing some YouTube. Who knows? <laughs> um, yeah, so I think this 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 one cable, like this one, uh, pretty inexpensive cable that you have to that you that you gotta get, is a very simple alternative to uh, to um, all that other pretty expensive stuff. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce the cable to you straight up. So let's just go on to Amazon. Oh, that's stuck UK with that's weird. Why do I have that bookmarked? Okay, let's I'm just gonna go to Amazon.com alright. And let's I'm gonna look for Rocksmith Tone Cable. And yeah, so this is it. Trilingual. That's weird. Okay, anyways, so this is a much better one. All right, so th this is the this is the cable. It's a lot longer than it looks here. It doesn't look very long. I, I yeah, it's 11.25 feet. So it's pretty long. You know, you could like this was this is the interesting part. Like you plug this you plug the, this into your guitar and then you plug it into your computer and then you just uh and your uh, computer's uh, earphone jack, just put a plug in um, uh, an, an aux cord and then plug it into a speaker, and there's your makeshift amp, right? And this alternative that I'm introducing you guys, it's much better than a cheap amp. Like, it's a much better alternative. Okay? So, go ahead and buy this cable. Like, I, I guarantee you, like, 100%, it, it's totally worth it. And if you want, go ahead, go ahead and check out their new game, Rocksmith 2014. I also recommend checking out that game. Like, it's not a free game. Like, if you buy the cable, you don't just get the game for free or vice versa. You can buy it for Steam for, like, I don't know, I don't know a couple of bucks. And, uh, but, you know, you can get it a lot cheaper on eBay. On eBay, I bought the game for uh, $30, and I think it's like $60 or something like that on Steam. And, um, yeah, go ahead and check that out if you want. And, but make sure you get this cable. What I recommend you do is do not buy this cable straight up. Like as soon as you see it, like I recommend you look around, like your your neighborhood or whatever, or like your town or whatever your city. L look in stores for this cable to see if you can find it cheaper. Look all over the, over the internet because you know if you're on a budget, you want to make sure you're getting you're getting your money's worth and you're also getting it at a price you can afford. So you know it just. If you can't afford the forty bucks, man, just try to get it at a cheaper price. Like, just look for it. Look for used ones or something like that. Okay. And also, when you're shopping on Amazon, I highly recommend doing the Prime free trial because if they offer the, the if they if you have the Prime free trial, most items will be um, they'll be on sale. Sometimes they'll even give you free shipping. Okay, actually most of the time it'll give you free shipping if it's a prime item. But you gotta make sure that at the end of, like before the 30 day free trial ends that you cancel your account or they will take out like 70 bucks out of your bank account. Yeah, that happened to me, but fortunately I didn't spend anything uh, after they charged, I mean I didn't buy anything after they charged me so I got my refund. So anyways, 
that's enough of me rambling so um, so once you get this cable so we'll go ahead we're gonna go ahead and download audacity this is free by the way guys like the rocksmith cable is the only thing you need to buy the audacity program is completely free and come on come on Google here we are okay so it should be the first link on Google all right and so here we are audacity so audacity it's a, uh, it's free software you know it's free uh, uh, audio recording audio editing software and so I, I highly recommend you guys get this if you want to record your guitar um, yeah so with this with uh, with audacity we're gonna record our guitar we can add effects to it we can clean it up you can do just make it sound different basically this is a very uh, cheap alternative to some professional software you know it's actually very audacity is actually a very good very popular program in the audio editing song in the audio editing world I mean if you have something if you're on a Mac and you have like GarageBand or something I, re I highly recommend you use that instead but you know if you want just go ahead and get audacity yeah, I just recommend getting this one. And so, anyways, once you download Audacity, once you install and once you download and install that, close your browser. And you guys, you notice I have this open. Now I'm just gonna explain why I have that open. Okay, so first thing, let me introduce the tone cable. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna open up the video camera here because I'm a, I'm a I'm a I'm a mess. I haven't shaved in like three months or something. Anyways, uh, but like I have my tone cable here. I'm gonna plug it in, and you guys will see it on the screen that's been plugged in. And there's that sound and like as you can see here a new uh, a microphone thing appear now or if you guys want to access this this uh, screen here by the way you go uh, uh, open up your start menu uh, type in device manager <clears throat> I mean not device manager manage audio devices into the search bar and it should be there okay it should be under the recording tab and it should be right there so you guys can see here I'm talking and this thing is going up and down, up and down like that. <clears throat> um, and you notice that you notice that when you plug in the guitar, like you like there's nothing here, and like and like if there is something there, like <clears throat> and you're not playing, then there's something wrong with your uh, tone cable or your guitar, maybe. And I think you should probably get that checked out. And uh, yeah, so let's get started with just setting this up generally. So yeah, so uh, go click on the the, what are the the mic thing and then just click on properties. Let me just do that again. So I clicked on this the cable thing and then I clicked on properties. And then I'm just gonna go under levels. And, like I have mine set at 100. You can go ahead and mess around with the settings and like just, like mess around with it, see like what you prefer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my guitar and show you guys that this actually works. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna give it a strum. Like I'm gonna stop talking so that I don't know I don't I don't actually know maybe I should keep talking what whatever you know what just just look at just look at this bar you'll notice that when I strum it's gonna go ahead, it's gonna increase see I'm gonna strum and mute now and you see okay <clears throat> um, so yeah so that works so I have uh, if you have knobs on your guitar that like change settings I recommend you mess around with those try to get like a good sound like me I have the knob on my guitar maxed like the volume one and I have the tone set to zero so because I don't want to like it distort the sound in any way because it doesn't sound good on audacity once you do that I mean it doesn't it, like I'm not, I'm not trying I mean it does it does sound good in a different perspective but for now I'm trying to get a nice clean sound just to show you guys the quality of the cable <clears throat> and the quality of this method in general so yeah like once again I have my if we go, if we go to properties for the for the Rocksmith USB guitar adapter Click on properties. Go to the levels tab. I have the volume set all the way to 100, and on my on my uh, uh, my guitar, I also have the volume knob set to 100. On both tones, I have two tone knobs, and they're both set to zero right now. Okay. So when I strum, it's just just like that. Okay. So let's go ahead now. Let's try recording. So uh, let's open up Audacity. Oh, also by the way. If you want to, um, actually, never mind. I'll get I'll get back to the I'll get back to what my point I was gonna make on the next video. Um, okay, so I know like some people open up Audacity for the first time. It seems kind of intimidating, but truth be told, it's actually a very simple program, especially when your sole purpose is just to record. So you'll notice here that there's a microphone icon, and for if it's not manually set to microphone, Rocksmith USB guitar, then just just click on this. 
and you'll see there's some options for your uh, microphones and just click on the microphone Rocksmith's USB guitar okay <clears throat> and so um, yeah let me just play something and then we'll listen to it I'll listen to, we'll listen to the quality Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to that. So I'm just going to take my mic off. Let's put it right up against the speaker so you guys can hear it clearly. Okay, so guys, that's how you record um, your guitar on Audacity. And uh, uh, the next video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh, uh, how to put some effects on. I mean, not uh, actually. No, I'll be doing that the video later. So the next video, actually, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your computer as an amplifier. You know, so you guys can, you can take your computer like. <laughs> be very innovative about this like you know be very cool about this like you know yeah, people are gonna think like oh my god this guy's such a douchebag using his like computer as an amplifier but like this is actually a pretty neat, neat idea <clears throat> so just go ahead take your computer to like on stage or something if you perform and like plug it into a speaker like plug your guitar into your computer plug your computer into a speaker or max this or max the speaker and then like there you go there's your amp so it's a very cheap alternative and so i'll be showing you guys how to do that next video so this has been multi-tutor man signing out